Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Sarah. <clears throat> this is Posing Posies. And today I'm just gonna get some more seeds started. Um, just kind of finish up the rest of the flower seeds that I have for my cut flower garden, along with some new zucchini, pumpkin, and watermelon seeds. Um, I'm also probably gonna get started the seeds that I got from the Urban Farm Project at my local library. Um, so let's get started. Tonight, um, if you watched my video yesterday, I used some stuff that I uh, wasn't able to use at the beginning of the year, more just because I didn't want to. Um, saved it in case I needed it later, and turns out I did. Um, and luckily, I had some extra one of these because I actually ran out of the little small pots. I mean, I had just enough of my things of these. I don't, the, these things. You know what they're called please tell me because I don't um this they're like a 16 cell tray um either way though this is not 16 a 24 cell tray um that and so I got those in there I can put way more seeds actually with them like this and so that's good um and if I have extra room I will be adding the leftover seeds from yesterday so that I can really just get everything going um so let's get started. Tonight I'm gonna to start with Queen's Lace. I'm gonna kinda of do the same setup. Um, I've already got my soil ready in the trays and just have to uh, get the seeds going. Just so you have a little bit of an idea of what the trays look like, uh, they're like this. Pretty standard, um, especially this group because it's real, not the accidental things that I bought um, off Amazon. I do that a lot. I'm the worst of not really paying attention to what I buy and just going for it. So, um, I'm gonna learn from that and not do it again. Hopefully, I'm sure I will at some point, but that's okay, learning, you know. All right, so the Queen Anne's Lace is what I have today that I'm gonna start with. Um, and this is the Queen of Africa variety. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is and so I am excited. Um, it, of course, I am a picture buyer. I think a lot of people probably are and they just don't want to admit it. But I am honestly a huge picture buyer and if it looked pretty, that's why I got it. So, these are an annual. They get 48 to 65 inches tall, which that's insane. Um, they do need full sun and it takes them about 90 to 100 days to germinate. It's really not that bad. So, um, And the good thing is all these things really take around the same amount of time. So. That'll look really nice in the garden once it gets finished. So they're really small, and so I'm just gonna be really careful putting them in. I'm gonna, only gonna try to put maybe two, maybe three in each cell, um, just to make sure that I get germination. I noticed yesterday after filming that these packages actually have a germination rate, and this is a, most of them have been like 70 to 75%, um, and so I wanna plant more than one just to make sure that I do get growth in each cell. All right, so most of those I got about three um, seeds in, and I think a few of them, four probably fell in there by accident, and I still have a good little handful of seeds left, so um, that's real exciting. I'm not gonna plant any more because I wanna make sure I have room for everything. Um, I only have really room right now on my rack to do about four trays, and so I really wanna keep it at that and not overextend this spring whenever I started my first group of seeds from Parker Seeds. Um, I made the really bad mistake of being too excited about my garden um, and starting things without really having everything prepared, um, and it really bit me in the butt in the long run. So all my flowers were ready to go out, but it was either too cold or the garden was not ready for them yet. Um, and it really prevented me from getting them into the ground and getting them, um, keeping them healthy. And so I don't wanna do that again. I wanna make sure that everything I'm planting, you know, I, I'm doing this for a reason. And so I, I wanna see something from it. I don't wanna just be doing it to do it. And so, yeah. One batch of seeds done, another one to go. So last night, um, after I got off the video, I planted a whole bunch of uh, China Aster, is how I would pronounce it, but could be completely wrong. Um, I'm about to show you the package. I have a total of five different varieties that I've planted because when I was on Florette's website, they were just beautiful. Um, I have purples, I have uh, apricots, whites, and then 
this one is a pink and I have a coral and so I have a few different varieties of like colors which I'm very excited for I started all of them last night except for one variety I ran out of room and that is the pink I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the word in front of the pink um, but this is the packaging that they come in um, and I'll put the name of these uh, down below and so these are palm size blossoms they're an annual they get to 24 to 36 inches tall so they're a little bit shorter than the other things that I've planted they're full Sun and they take 110 days to 120 days to be full mature uh, maturity so that's not too bad um, it also says that the vase life is up to two weeks so that's actually very nice um, my end goal is of course to do bouquets with these and everything maybe not this year just depending on how everything works out um, but that is my end goal. I want to be able to make really pretty bouquets for myself. Um, I dabble in the cells at my, where I work and I like to give plants and plant related gifts anyways because it is just such a big thing that I love. Um, in fact, I have quite a few customers who have been asking me about my bees lately and are concerned about the murder hornets and so that's honestly just awesome that people think about that. Um, and it's crazy what you can be connected to people by. These seeds, they are really tiny as well. Not really sure if you're getting a good picture of the seeds, so I do apologize. There are a few varieties of these that um, I did, I was able to save some seeds from, and so that's very uh, exciting. Because if I have enough room tonight, I will probably be planting the rest of those, but it will just greatly depend on how much room I have after I get everything else that I want planted. Another thing I'm doing is when I get done with all these seeds um, and getting them placed everywhere, I'm gonna start my bullet journal probably if not sooner than this weekend, um, this weekend. Um, and one thing I'm gonna bullet, I've decided is I'm gonna do like a monthly catalog, but one for my garden, one for task, one for my bees, and then one for just other, you know, little victories and, you know, information. And I'm gonna section it off. I've got it in my head. I just gotta get it on paper, which, <clears throat> typically actually isn't very hard for me um, so I am very excited about that and do not worry I will be probably posting all about it but it's not a really big point to post about it right now whenever it's not even started yet is I'm a procrastinator at its best I'll get it done but not always the quickest no, that's not true. I get things done pretty quick, but not always on the timeline that I originally had planned. Eh, that's pretty normal though. So what I'm planting right now are just some zucchini seeds. Um, I planted some of these directly into the ground. I've tried it twice now. Um, once the same way I did all my cut flowers the first time around by digging a trench, planting them, and then putting the straw over it. Unfortunately, that did not work. Um, nothing from that group came up. So. I decided to try to direct sow some just in the ground and cover it up normally, you know, like how you would typically. Um, and just the same, nothing came up. So they also seeds that I got from Lowe's, they look like this. And so maybe that is having something to do with the germination rate, maybe not. Um, it could really well be. We've got a lot of rain the past few months, honestly, um, more rain than I thought we would ever have. And I do think that it's uh, washed away a lot of my seeds and kind of probably been an issue, been a big reason that I've had some issues with success in the garden. Um, I don't need a whole lot of zucchini plants, but I do need some. That's one of the vegetables that we really do eat a lot of our zucchinis. And so I want to make sure that we have enough without having to continue to buy them from the store. And I would also love to just have some, you know, to give to the chickens. I want to save seeds. It's a big thing that I want to try to do this year, save seeds um, for next year. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Next thing I got are jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. These are also from Lowe's. They look like this. I'm so sorry, that light is just blinding and it's reflecting the worst thing. I'm gonna get better at this eventually, I promise. So same kind of thing, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of pumpkins. I'm only gonna do probably six of them and fill up one little 
section um, only because I do have a small garden and pumpkins and stuff need a lot of room. I don't need a whole lot of pumpkins because I'm growing these mainly just for fun, you know, for this fall, for me and the boys and um, decoration reasons. <clears throat> so I don't want to have a whole lot of pumpkins going, but I'm also slightly worried that not all of these will germinate. Out of all the pumpkin seeds that I planted, um, only one came up, and I do believe it was a jack-o'-lantern, but same thing. I started them with, in the trenches, covered them with straw, and either they didn't get enough light because of the straw, or the seeds got washed away from all the rain. Um, and either way, that's just kind of upsetting, so I'm getting everything started from seed in the porch, so that's just, I can take that away. Putting down the weed membrane and everything should also help a little bit with keeping things in place maybe not I'm hoping so um, I guess I'm also truly hoping that what we are using this year will work um, I would like to say that it's weed membrane but really my dad had some leftover like landscaping fabric that's super thick and that was left over from a job site he was on and so he brought it home he's had it in the shop for years when I showed him the role the role of uh, landscaping fabric that I got and then realized once we had everything measured out I was going to need to get another one he went out to the shop to grab it and he actually had enough of it of the fabric that he had to do the entire rest of my garden that needed it I also bought some small sugar pumpkins same kind of thing more for just decorations and you know just to have them in the garden I think it's a fun little thing to grow I do love pumpkin seeds and pumpkin pie and so I will probably try to do a few more cooking things with the pumpkins than I normally would just because I can since I have them um, and so all of the stuff that I'm having I am at the probably the very end of the sowing time to get things started from seed but it is still technically as far as like the zone I'm in okay to get them started um, we're in zone seven um, and so a lot of the stuff that I'm planting really should be out by mid-june if not beginning of June and so I'm hoping that it's not too late with it being so hot where we are typically we don't have an issue with things um, not being able to survive because of frost it's more the other way around of it just being too hot and having to water everything and keep things cool that can definitely be an issue um, for our tomatoes and our beans we uh, have pole beans planted across to our vertical planter I um, mean they're just now they're really just now starting to take off we got our first little handful of beans today which my son was super excited about I have them right here still on the table because as soon as we picked them, he wanted to come inside and show his daddy. So we got our first little handful of beans, which we are very pumped about, but that's not really a good harvest to do anything with. Um, but the kids really enjoyed it. So here pretty soon our trellis will just be overflowing with beans and growth and it's gonna look beautiful. And if not this year, it definitely will next year because just like everything else, I was should not have started my bean seeds as soon as I did and I'm, I don't think I killed any of them because um, they're all still producing but I definitely uh, s slowed down their growth um, because I had to untangle them from each other and when I did that it did uh, put some stress on them um, which is okay it's a learning thing and they are still doing they're bouncing back pretty good but I don't think they're gonna take over on my trellis as much as I wanted them to so probably once it gets a little bit further in the season if i really start to notice that they're not doing good anymore i'll take those and i will be putting them and um, i save some seeds i still have some and so i'll be starting a new group of seeds out there probably sometime in the middle of this year uh, the last thing that i'm going to plant right now um, from this group is my uh, Georgia rattlesnakes watermelon which are these really long watermelons and um, I'm kind of curious to see how they do the same kind of thing watermelons take up a lot of space and so I don't want to have to worry about um, them taking up a lot of space in my garden I have one row really kind of dedicated to my pumpkins and watermelon and I want to keep it that way so that the other rows can really be for my cut flowers 
I have a row for watermelons and pumpkins, a row full of sunflowers, which I'll probably put some cut flowers at the end of, or maybe a few of my pumpkins um, or watermelon if I uh, need to. I think I should have enough. And then I have two six, uh, 23 foot rows that are just right currently being laid with the fabric um, and just waiting for these seeds to sprout some baby seed sprouts, some baby sprouts. Um, so that I can get them in the ground. Once they get um, some leaves established, uh, not very many or anything, or they don't really need to be huge, but once they just get some very basic, their first leaves going, I'm gonna go out, burn holes into the fabric, and um, get them planted. I want them in the ground as quick as possible so their roots can just stretch, 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 but I'm not starting anything from seed in the ground this year again. Maybe next year I'll venture into it again, um, but not this year. The first set of flowers I did, I did from seed and although I wasn't prepared to get them out in the yard and so, um, and I planted way too many seeds in each cell, um, so it caused me to honestly lose a lot of flowers. Um, they really did great. Uh, all of them germinated, they all did great. Um, I will definitely order from Parker Seeds again because of it. I really feel like I probably had a hundred percent germination with them and that's just awesome in itself. I don't think that's very common. Um, I could be wrong. So um, we'll see. Um, these florette flowers, um, I do have very high hopes for them um, and so that's very exciting. Um, with that, I am going to finish um, planting things but I'm actually going to head inside and help my husband put the boys to bed, read, read them a new book. We just got uh, The Pout Pout Fish. Um, and so they're pretty excited about that. And along with that, I gotta, you know, kinda get them ready for bed, brush teeth or hair, all that good stuff, go potty, you know, little boy things. So with that, I hope y'all are having a great week so far. It's Thursday, which means it's Friday Eve, and we're one day closer to the weekend. Um, have a great night, bye guys.